Hi, my name is Leo McPhee, and I'm here today with Robert Simmons from Heaven and Earth, and also author of the Book of Stones and Stones of the New Consciousness right. and Moldavite's Starborn Stone, Starborn Stone of Transformation. Transformation, yes, yes. and other books. Um, we're here today to talk about Guardianite, yes. which is a stone that I personally really have connected with. And I want to know more about it, you know, what, what's its physical makeup and the energetic qualities and how you discovered it. Okay, yeah, that's a story I like to tell. Um, guardianite is the, the name that I coined for this stone. It's actually a very complex mineral. It's found in the northwestern United States, in the mountains out there. And as far as I know, that's the only place. Mm -hmm. um, the stones, I've got to have a list of them, the minerals that are present in Guardianite. Um, Adarene, Feldspar, Nepheline, Analcime, Rebekite, Arfvedsonite, Biotite, Olivine, and Apatite. So, you know, there's that's, nine different minerals that are present in this material. That's amazing because that's actually quite a complex stone. I mean, normally there's not that many elements in a lot of stones. I th it's the most complex stone in terms of components of any that I know of in our offerings. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's interesting, uh, when, I was, when I discovered that this stone existed, I was actually attempting to find a stone that contained azurine. And azurine, you know, we've been selling in our catalog for a number of years. But what we've had is just uh, b pure black azurine crystals. Mm -hmm. And those are relatively expensive and also you cannot make things out of it. You can't cut a sphere out of them or make a wand or beads that can be worn. And it's because, a fragile material. Right. And yes. because azurine is um, probably the strongest stone of spiritual protection and cleansing, Mm. of any of the minerals that we work with. There were a lot of uh, requests for azurine in all kinds of forms mm. that we couldn't do. Right. Um, so I started searching to see you know, what minerals contain azurine. And I stumbled upon uh, the people that had discovered the claim for what we're now calling guardianite. Mm. And you can see that um, the first sort of reason to name the stone guardianite comes from the fact that its first component is agerine. Right. And agerine is the great protector stone. Yes. So I'm just going to hold this up so people can see what um, agerine, I mean, what uh, guardianite looks like. Yeah. And it's a beautiful stone to me. I really like the patterning of the black and the gray with each other. Um, I've got to say that it's, you know, more beautiful energetically even than it is physically to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a, it's a very uh, good stone to make things out of because it's highly consistent and it takes a very good polish and it's, it's, it's a stone you can cut and it will just kind of hold together well and all that. Right. Um, and what I wanted to say about the, um, the, 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 the way energetically that the multiple components of, of Guardianite shows up is it shows up in, in my uh, intuitive uh, connection with it as if it's a kind of like a gang of angels. <laughs> you know, it's like right. there's multiple mineral beings that are present in Guardianite and they're all there to have your back. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all there in different ways energetically to strengthen your own energy system and to... Uh, help heal any damage to the auric field, um, to the astral body or the etheric body. And, you know, I think that that protective quality of the agerine in it is kind of like sort of the, 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 the center around which all these other energies orbit. Mm. But it really, I had this image come to me when I was tuning into it to write about it of this you know, gang of like eight very beefy angels that kind of walk <laughs> up behind you when you've got the stone on and they're protective. Yes. Yes. So, you know, there there's nine guardians in Guardianite is an, is one way to look at it. Right. Well, I found this stone to be really amazing. Um, I find in times when I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed and or even just tired that 
I can hold a piece of this in pretty much any form. You know, I like these discs because you can slip them in your pocket, but you know, the spheres and any of the different forms are, yeah. they feel good in the hand, you know, mm -hmm. for some reason, just yeah. initially, even though I yeah. don't know why it just has a feel good quality to it physically to hold very different. It's one thing to look at it. It's another thing to hold it. Like as soon as I hold it, it's like, oh, okay. I start getting what it's about and it feels very, um, sort of full spectrum in its energies. Like it, it handles the whole auric field and works with whole different parts of the chakra system. Very complex, kind of like it is mineralogically, energetically, but with this overarching feeling of, oh, this feels like I'm safe now or something, which of course plays right into, you know, what you tuned into in terms of the name. Well, what you said about, oh, I feel good and I feel safe, those are two uh, exact quotes from people that uh, were among the first ones I had checked Guardianite out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. The first one, the first person said, it makes me feel safe. That was her whole response. Interesting. And the other one uh, was the one who said, oh, it just feels so good. You know, and I think that, you know, if I was going to try to explicate what that is that's going on that gives rise to those kinds of expressions, it is that the multiple energies that are present in this stone through the multiple minerals that make it up work harmoniously together to sort of connect with and uh, balance the multiple systems that we are. Mm -hmm. So the auric field, the astral body, um, and particularly I saw in my own tuning into the stone that, uh, you know, people can get a leaky aura, you mm -hmm. might say, holes in the energy field that have to do with lots of things. You know, it can be invasion from negative en entities or energies. It can be negative energies you've invited in, you know, people that have past uh, histories of substance abuse and things like that mm -hmm. tend to have auras that are not fully present and the aura is a kind of energetic shield for you as well as being other things. Mm -hmm. So where your energetic shield is damaged, then you're more prone to all kinds of difficulties. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's people, including me in the past, who have had very difficult to diagnose and define illnesses, mm -hmm. you know, like there's something wrong, you feel awful, but you don't really know, and the doctor can't figure out what's going on. Yes. And that's my example of the sort of, you might say it's an energetic uh, malady mm -hmm. that um, can be you know, made better through energetic uh, treatment of some, of, you know, bringing good energy in and bringing in energy that can, um, sort of bring wholeness to what's been damaged in the energy field. Yes. And, you know, I mean, I have only my own feeling experience and the feedback I've gotten from others to back it up. Mm -hmm. But my felt sense is that this stone is a stone that will repair all sorts of damage on the energetic level of a human being. Mm -hmm. So the meridian system, the chakras, the auric field and the energy body, all of these are where guardianite goes to work and brings wholeness, wellness, and a sense of uh, feeling good. Yes. And that sense of feeling good is not, in my view, an illusion. It's more of a symptomatic response to the fact that things are getting back in balance. Right. I see it as like a, you know, energetic energy body and physical body boosting of your own natural well-being, you know, you could say. It's great you said that because um, one of the other things that came to me and that I wrote about Guardianite is that it, it brings an infusion of life force or chi. Mm. That, it, you know, along with all the rest of this, it, it has a, if you can look and see this closely, um, the stone has, a, it's, a, it's kind of a dark stone, especially with the little, the many little black dots, which are the azurine. And that uh, resonates at the root chakra. So, you know, the base of your body, the, where, where your life force resides, where you connect with the earth to draw a life force from the earth. Mm -hmm. That is stimulated and um, balanced 
by the infusion of life force that comes from the guardian eye. And it comes in through the bottom chakra where the azurine in this links. Right. So, you know, it's, um, I mean, some people have looked at this stone and said, you know, it's, uh, it's not colorful, right? you know, etc. And it really is more about the energy, even than the aesthetics of this stone, that, that make it worth getting involved with, I think. Yes. Although I think it's kind of pretty. I like, I like the look of it. Well, that's one thing I, I will point this out to people, because oftentimes people are drawn to things with the, the colorful spectrum, you know, this... But I continually tell people, you know, to make sure and pay attention to this stone or give it a try because you might not be drawn to it visually immediately. But most people, when they pick it up and feel it, it's like, oh, now I get it. Yeah, that, that has happened a lot. One thing I like to do with this, too, like when we use a wand mm -hmm. of Guardianite, the wand is a really good form for focusing energy mm -hmm. and for like kind of creating a current of energy that comes out in a very, you know, almost like a laser in the sense that it's a little beam yep. of that energy and it's kind of concentrated. And we've discovered that in many of the different stones we use that doing, the reason we do wands is primarily as energy focusing and energy transmitting yes. tools. And I like to just go right through the chakras, you know, I'll start at the crown Wow, and I immediately get a real strong uh, energy wave coming down. And I also, in this case, got a flash of white light right as soon as I put it on there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful doing this when we're filming because I can get lost in it. Right. It feels so good. But this one thing I wanna say about this stone too is it's very multi-spectral, you know, in terms of the energy body, even though it's black and gray, you know, in terms of the chakra system, I feel like it's pretty multiphonic. I mean, it works with the whole energy field almost anywhere or any way you want to work with it. Yeah, I would say, you know, one metaphoric way to describe it, and I got to say that felt great on my heart, mm. um, an energetic way to describe it is to say that it's, it's like a uh, etheric acupuncture needle especially mm. when you use a wand right and so you can actually go to the acupuncture points on mm -hmm. the body the meridian system with one of these things and you can just hold it over the acupuncture points right and you can feel the energy go in there so you can give yourself or people you can give someone else a treatment that is in the subtle um, energy level of things, but works like an acupuncture treatment works, or is you know uses the same system in the body. Yes, absolutely. So I like that very much about it. One of the other things I was going to say about guardianite is, you know, and this is why we make beads out of it. It's really good to wear, you yes. know, because what all that we've been talking about in terms of the feeling of well-being and the way that you. Um, uh, bring that energy into your whole system. Mm -hmm. The longer you have it with you, and if you have it right on your body, the more it can do its work. Right. So we like to wear bracelets made mm -hmm. out of these beads uh, or necklaces. Yeah, the bracelets are great. Right. And the bracelets are good too because they'll actually go right on the wrist, which has many of the acupuncture meridians right on it. Right. So it's something we like to do. If you get a sphere of guardianite, uh, the thing that I like to do with the sphere is just place it like on my altar mm -hmm. or next to the bed or any area where I'm uh, wanting the energy to be clear and clean and not influenced by any bad vibes. Mm. So a sphere is more of an environmental piece, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it works energetically really well for the environment, as do the altar stones. You know, these chunks like this, just even a raw piece of guardianite yep. can do a good job of keeping an area clear of anything that you wouldn't want to be there energetically. Yes. And a raw piece like this, you know, you can sit, you can lie down and meditate with a raw piece like this on the body. And that's got a lot of, um, I guess you might call it just volume to it. Right. And there's more of the mineral or the mineral group when you have a big piece like this. So 
it's a little bit stronger than a small piece. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can notice like there's a wave of energy that goes right in uh, that is, you know, easier to feel than when you have a little piece. Yes, but definitely. Um, and at the same time, I've got to say, even a small piece will affect your whole energy system. From my view, it'll affect it beneficially. Yes, and one thing I found with these stones is the raw and the polished both seem to have an equal energy, whereas sometimes they can differ, mm -hmm. you know, from stone to stone. But this is a very strong but supportive feeling stone yeah. to me on all levels. On the, on the consciousness level, it works well as a kind of expander of your sense of wholeness so that it's not just a healthy body but a healthy energy field and you can feel your whole being sort of in a, in a good place when, you under, when you're under the influence of it. Yes. Um, and uh, on the level of uh, you know, self-healing, I like the idea that this stone is an aura repair kit. Yes. Because really a lot of us, you know, through the wear and tear of life, have got aura issues. Mm -hmm. And this is the best stone I know for that. Yeah, I have to agree. So I encourage people to experiment with this. I think it works really well in conjunction with the Zestulite, where you're bringing in a lot of light, and at the same time you're making sure that everything sort of uh, stays within your auric field and, and, and keeps you, uh, keeps the power that is infused in you stays with you, mm -hmm. you might say. Right. It's wonderful with Rosophia because of what Rosophia does in the heart. Mm -hmm. Moldavite quickens the action of Guardianite, in my view, because it has that transformational acceleration about it, the Moldavite does. Mm -hmm. um, I think for the healing aspect, you know, the uh, Arkansas Golden Healer crystals are really good to combine with this. Mm. Um, I really like this stone with Ajumar because the one thing that this stone can benefit from is the emotional content, the emotional body healing and the infusion of happiness that uh, Ajumar brings to it so right. that you're not only whole but you're in a kind of a state of joy when you're under the influence of those two stones together. <laughs> so those are the things I guess I want to say about Guardianite today. Yes, and lastly I want to say too that we have charged this stone oh, right. with the Azazeo process which you can look up on our website or see other videos that we have about but it's it's a way that we've developed to charge the azestulites initially right. um, in a pyramid full of azestulite and with phenakite as a part of it. It's, it's quite a story. But since this stone, we, we just thought, well, let's give it a try. Let's see if when we put this stone in the charging chamber, if it also seems to be activated and made even that much more potent. So what would you say about that? Well, pretty much what you've said, I agree with. You know, the, the Azazeo activation process, we can't tell it in every video because it's got a, it's, it's its own story and it takes a while to explain. But as you said, we use other stones in a consciously created energy field and then we bring stones into that field to be activated. Yes. And we find that, uh, we have found so far that all of the Azestulites can be what we call super activated by this process. And the, one of the several stones we found that's not an azestulite that also responds to it and gets more powerful when it's gone through the process is guardianite. Mm. So yeah. it intensifies its energy, it quickens its effect in the body and in the consciousness um, when you get the super activated uh, azazeo treated guardianite. Yes. So we offer both of those, you know, the regular form just as we found it and the super activated on the website and in the catalog, right? Yes, and so thank you Robert for telling us about Guardianite today and it is an amazing stone. So you can see more of the writing and everything that you see here at heavenandearthjewelry.com. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoy Guardianite. <laughs>